This building of Zaporizhia National University was constructed at the start of the 18th century. Its story is one of constant reinvention. Initially, it was intended for educational purposes. At the end of the 19th century, the city began renovating it as a women's gymnasium. The Minayev brothers took responsibility for the construction. They owned brick and tile-making factories. And in 1902 to 1903, this building, in this eclectic style, was put up. The building functioned as a gymnasium for almost 20 years. After that, the building was used for other purposes. It housed the Ural Rifle Division and a military hospital. Since 1926, the building has again been used for education. At first, there was a pedagogical technical school, later the Pedagogical Institute, and now the Zaporizhny National University. The university has been almost perfectly preserved in its original form. The exception is the chapel that was destroyed by the Bolsheviks. The trace of its cross can still be seen on the wall. At one time, this was a ballroom, but during the World War, ball gowns and dance music were replaced with cots and medical equipment. Now the room is used for university ceremonies. We now can feel how all the features of that era were reproduced. After all, many motifs were repeated here. This is the original floor of the early 20th century, and the ceiling is close to the original flare of this room. The campus of Zaporizhia University is home to more than one architectural gem. It's the building of the male gymnasium, established in 1910. Unlike many other houses of that period in our city, this building was constructed in the Art Nouveau style. But during the Second World War, the structure was damaged during artillery shelling, and then rebuilt in the style of neoclassicism of the Soviet period. In this way, the building has become the melange of styles that it is today. We can see the contrast of styles, for example, in the window arches. Luckily, the interior survived the artillery fire untouched. Its elegant staircases and wide-arched corridors are evidence of this century-old architectural monument's true age.